What's up? How are you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Feeling good? Feeling a little sore. My chest. About to get, uh, uh, we're going to do this topic, which is the new, the all new flex diet that we have come up with. We figured that, you know, the flexi bros need to have a flex diet, so yep. for you to have and enjoy. Conferences. And then after we talk about the flex diet and what it is, we're going to go do a workout called mental toughness. Oh. It'll test your mind, your body, and your soul. So, you know, let's get enough. right into it. Let's get right into it. So essentially, the flex More. diet is not really a diet at all. Sure. <laughs> That's You've it. been full. Yep. You clicked on this here video thinking that you're gonna get this new fat diet. It's gonna be this miracle plan that's gonna save your body I mean, and make you this lean, ripped, lean and mean person, whatever. Which it will. No, what we want to talk about is more of just food in general, fuel in your body for its necessary needs. And now we understand that everybody has different needs as far as their body goes. Everybody processes food different. Everybody's body handles food different. Jarrell's body is going to be different than my body. Obviously, I'm way bigger than he is, so it's going to be totally different. Totally. But disclaimer: we are not nutritionists as a, as well. Yes. Big so time. Big time. This is just our thoughts, opinions. Don't take it for what it, you know. Don't take it for what it's worth. These, these take it for what it's worth, but these are things we've don't learned. take it as absolute truth. These are things that we've researched, we've learned, we've gained knowledge from other people, from ourselves, what's worked for us, and so uh, there is obviously a part of okay, hey, Caleb Durrell, what has worked for you guys? Well, what has worked for us isn't going to be able to speak to people that are looking to do weight loss. So we never had to lose weight. Yeah. We will be able to talk more towards the people that are trying to gain weight, or trying to get lean, trying to build muscle. Now, we do have, I believe we have knowledge on how to lose weight because of the things we've learned um, in different schooling and talking to other people and just gaining that basis of knowledge. But there's going to be a part of, okay, I'm not going to take these guys seriously because they're not trying to lose weight and they never have. But then again, don't just blow us off just because of that. Yeah. Listen to what we got to say because we, we believe it's important to make and so you can have a, a lifestyle that you can live to the fullest. Yeah. Cool. So, hit it. There it up. So, I think when I think of nutrition or just food in general, um, something I, I mean, I've grown up, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about this, but I think a few, a few, you might have heard this phrase of food is fuel. And that's, really how I try to look at food. Now, of course, I enjoy food. Yeah. I enjoy eating food. I enjoy making food experience. to make it tasteful to my taste buds. Yep. Okay, But there is times where I'm just making food just to get the food in my body, to get the calories, get the protein, the carbs, the fat, all that stuff, get the, the, the nutrients that I need, and not necessarily worrying about, hey, how it's going to taste or making it presentable or whatnot. There's a time and a place for that, right? It's super fun. Absolutely. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, I enjoy cooking, honestly. So, um, but that uh, that's the thing of like, what your goals are and where, where you wanna go is if you're in the gym and you're wanting to perform at a high level, like maybe CrossFit or some kind of competition or something like that. Bodybuilding, um, yeah. Anything, like you wanna fuel your body so you're able to perform at the highest level. Okay. I mean, it can even be if you're if you're a stay-at-home mom. That's a full that's a full-time gig. If you're, you know, riding a bike, if you're doing a laborious job, all of those things you need food to fuel your body. That's what we live off of, and that's how we sustain our lives is food. Yeah. And of course, what we put into it is going to make a difference on how we perform and how we react. And honestly, I think like food in general, as far as nutrition goes, and like 
eating healthy, I think it is more simple than we oh, think it way is. Simpler, man. And I think the biggest thing right now is with in society is that everyone is looking for that, like for we that said diet. earlier, that quick thing to get you to lose weight within uh, a four week plan. Without know? having to put work in. Yeah, without having to put work in. I could just not eat this, not eat this, and eat this, and I'm just gonna be fit. Eat no. that shake, you know, get a, a shake a day or whatever, you know, get a protein shake or something like that as a meal replacement. And our biggest thing is like, eat the food, okay? A, meal, a, a protein shake or when I, I eat a protein or whatever, like that's an added supplement of what I want to go. Yeah, do not. Do. I'm not replacing Ooh. a meal. You get fired up. I'm not we'll replacing a up. meal because of that. I, I want to. It's always better to eat food, the nutrition, the substance, rather than living off a shake or something like that. Okay? It's 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 not a replacement. It's something added. Sure, if you're trying to cut down calories, and you're busy and you have to be at work right now and you don't have time to make food, sure, take the shake. But it's always better to get the real nutrients from that meat or vegetable or whatever it is you're gonna make than it is that has come from, you know, a protein substance as powder or something. Just like the same as like uh, an energy drink or something before a workout or just for during the day, like coffee. Like, that. that's, I do that, that's, that's, that's good. Heck. But better yet is why are you using that? Is it because you haven't gotten enough sleep the night before? Freaking sleep. And bro. so it's always better, like I said, though, it's always better to get the natural thing. Natural food is more the most natural thing than like a subst uh, substitute meal replacement. Sleep is always more natural than an energy drink or something like that. So yeah, it's I, I enjoy a good cup of coffee, an energy drink or whatever to, to help my performance. But if I'm relying on that and I'm not getting the sleep I need to recover, then that's where it goes goes wrong. So, uh, so yeah. And a lot of people, and we, you know, we've been through this question lots of times, talking about it, researching. It's like, okay, well, what should my diet look like? So you have the food pyramid, whatever, you know, whatever, what everybody's been saying to eat, you know, the whole stack of things, what you need to have, and then you have all the fat diets that are coming out, low carb diets, high carb diets, high fat diets, low protein, high protein, you know, all detoxing, these things, detoxing. Daniel Fast, Daniel Fast, 30, ketogenic, like there's intermittent, so, intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting, there's so many different things and it's like, okay, if we're going to be totally honest, obviously all of them have worked for somebody at some point, mm -hmm. otherwise it wouldn't be a fat diet. Somebody lost weight, somebody got fit with it. Does that mean everybody should do it? Heck no. no. If everybody did it, that means everybody's the same and everybody's not the same. So we can't just go off of one person's fat diet and be like, oh, that's gonna work for me. And if, one, you're setting yourself up for possible failure, it might work for you, but you're setting yourself up for possible failure and probably a diet that's not sustainable. There's hardly any diet, fat diet out there that somebody has done for 25 years straight and not failed at. So in, in our view, and we're both on the same page on this, is why not create a healthy lifestyle that you can maintain all the time? It's not a, it's not a diet because it's not something you're doing, okay, I'm gonna do this for three months and I'm gonna be shredded, yeah. you know? No, it's a lifestyle that you're gonna continue to progress in of, of eating healthy and, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's really eating healthy. And like, we, we say this multiple times, but consistency, is the biggest thing, whether it's getting in the gym, getting stronger, or eating the right nutrition, uh, nutritional meal. Like, cause being consistent is the biggest thing, I think, in, in life. It's not a matter of how big you can do something yep. in a short amount of time. It's day in, day out, 1%, just being consistent, day in and day out, doing that thing you need to do, eating the right food, eating healthy, getting in the gym, even if it's a, a little bit of time, even if you're not in the gym two hours or an hour at a time, even if it's like 15 10 minutes, minutes a day, whatever. Minutes. As long as you're being consistent in it and getting that habit and discipline, that's the biggest thing. Because every, everyone wants to lose weight for the summer, right? In the Everybody spring, look good. in January. Quick, get in there, lose weight, get shredded for the summer, get the beach body or whatever. But it's just people that go into the gym during the winter, day during in, the spring, day, day in, day out. And not even in the gym. If you're just eating the right, right food, day in and day out, Being active. getting your kids to eat the right food. Being consistent and slowly, consistently losing weight or gaining weight 
is going to be the best in the long run because uh, we did an interview with our brother Aaron and he lost 100 pounds in nine months. Now that's pretty fast. Super and he'll, fast. he'll tell you that too. It was too, it fast. Was too fast. Too fast. But he had a goal. He wanted to go for it. And that's, that's the route he took. And he had a lot of loose skin that was just just there because he lost it so fast and it was just his body didn't adjust it, the body didn't have time to adjust to it so it's always better to, to do your research and and be consistent in it not going too fast not going too slow pushing yourself but yeah. just letting that time work it just yeah. takes time just with healing your body like an injury like it just takes time and yeah. none of us want to wait none of us are patient like patience I think is the hardest thing especially when you're dealing with an injury like Kella can hear it maybe share and he wants to get in the gym day. and keep his gains up but you have to have, leave your body time to heal itself in order for you to be better in the future yeah right. the last thing on why eating healthy is kind of like, is why why you should and changing your lifestyle if you don't eat healthy now before we get into more of like how to do that is you, I'm sure you heard this before this analogy but it's like a car if you have a gas car mm -hmm. you go to the gas station put diesel in it the car is not gonna run right probably won't run at all versus you get a diesel car diesel pickup is on you put gas in it probably not gonna run right or at all all bodies are the same way and if you went and you, you there's that movie out there it's called super size me which is disgusting he ate McDonald's for like I don't know how long it was months yeah that's all he ate time. We got huge and sick and dude almost died. Like you can't live off of those things. If you can't live off of something, a certain kind of food, probably shouldn't be eating it that much. Sure, we're all for cheat days every once in a while. Gotta have a cheat day, otherwise you're gonna get depressed and hate your life. But not all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. And so let's that in the wraps. Yeah. Let's get into what does that look like. What is what does a flex diet look like? Like that look like. Yeah. Well, why don't we just share a little bit of what, what we eat on a daily basis? For like, us? Yeah, maybe yeah. just like what what's the one thing that you maybe eat every day or just like during the week, like just day in, day out, something that you just basic to keep food, in mind. To keep in mind also with what we eat on a daily basis. Um, and like I said, not gonna work for everybody. But what we eat is pretty simple. Yeah. But we do different things with it, and but it's pretty simple. But if you think about it, everybody has a routine that they're in, and so if you're in this like routine during the week, everything's pretty simple at that point. Mm -hmm. So why not keep your food just as simple so that you can feel body, feel your body for what it needs? Yeah. Yep. So I think for for me, uh, a lot. I guess two kind of main things that I would eat. Doing, uh, at least once a day or during the week uh, is oatmeal is a big one yeah. uh, so that's a, that's my carb my go-to carb source energy source before a workout or just during the day uh, a big thing is overnight oats so I'll, I'll mix it uh, the night before with milk with a little protein powder yogurt put some fruit in there some uh, peanut butter whatever yeah. I'll mix it up every every now and then uh, so it's a little different every time uh, but that's that's one big thing and then um, eggs is another big thing yeah uh, whether it's on the frying pan whether it's a hard boiled hard boiled egg with some salt uh, just eat those during the day four or five six a day or whatever um, I have gotten a dozen eggs one time there you a do. dozen of eggs in one day it's pretty sweet it's eggs. Uh, but those are my two biggest things and of course obviously you know meat ground beef and chicken are my two main sources of meat that I eat um, so yeah, that's that's where I go to. Yep. And I guess with a lot of different, um, maybe some like tricks or, or ideas that I try to keep them, like have learned over the past as far as nutrition wise, is just eating as low processed food. And this is like I think we all know this, right? Like eating as low processed food yeah. in general. I feel so, like people have a state of mind of like, yeah, processed food probably isn't good for me, but I like it so much. I'm yep. gonna do it. And that's the thing is like, one example is with peanut butter, right? And I, we get peanut butter that is 100% peanuts. It's just ground right at the store. And that's all it is, peanuts just ground up. And honestly, it doesn't taste good 
by itself, yeah. right? Not like Jeff peanut butter where there's added oil, added sugar, all this added stuff where you can just eat it by the spoonful. It doesn't make your throat dry or anything. It doesn't make you sticky. You can just eat it. Yeah. And it tastes good, yeah. But again, where do you want to go? And how do you want to fuel your body to get that weight loss or that weight gain that you want to get and just being healthy in general? Like, yeah. don't eat that added sugar um, uh, products or whatever like that. Um, yeah. So that's just one one example with peanut butter. Um, yeah. Just, just being aware of, of your nutritional labels, I think. If you can learn how to read the, the ingredient list and learn how to read nutritional um, to do a video uh, label and whatnot, that's super helpful. Just, you know, as, as, as less amount of ingredients that are in a product is always the, uh, the better option. So, um, yeah, just, just do your research, just learn how to how to look at food and how to look at things. Always go the natural route if you can. And just go as natural as you can. And I would say organic stuff, I mean, there's a big thing with that. Yeah. Like, organic is good, but there's a lot of a lot of mixed conceptions about that, that We're know, not people really. just put organic label on stuff and- Jack the price. Is it really better for you? Yes, no, I don't if know. You're, if you just start, just focus, don't focus on organic or not organic. That's not a big deal. Just start your health journey. The big deal is try not processed sugars or added sugars and processed foods. Start there. Yeah, that's basic. No fast, don't stop, stop going to fast food. Stop eating processed food, foods and stop eating added sugars as much as possible. Yeah. Don't worry about organic or not organic. Just start there and I guarantee you it would make a huge difference. Yep. Anytime you, you can feel. make your own food, it's always better. Always better. Because you control what goes, what goes onto the food. Yep. As far as the spices, the sauces, the oils. Like when you go out to eat, they put whatever on there. You don't I know. mean, just so well, much salt. You know, you can go to a nice like, restaurant and a lot of times it's pretty good food. But you still, it's like, you, yeah. don't, you don't know. Don't know. Don't know what to put on. Barbecue always sauce. Make it. Try to put sugar in barbecue sauce. Um, so what's your what's your kind of thing to eat? Yeah, uh, every day or pretty similar. Every week? Pretty similar to you. Overnight oats. Eat a lot of oats. Um, I usually do a protein shake a day, mid morning, or right after my workout. Um, a lot of eggs. I do I do eggs in the morning for breakfast, and also do a couple hard boiled eggs throughout the day um, and lunches. I also eat a lot of tuna. Especially in my lunches, um, eat a can or uh, two cans or a can and a half, two cans a day. Do my lunches at uh, work, and then also rice, chicken, um, veggies, steak, pork, kind of whatever, whatever we have, whatever kind of meat we have here is usually what I eat. But and then I also do I eat um, to kind of fill those the craves for processed food, which I don't really have anymore, but I'll do like Triscuits, sometimes with uh, with this homemade dip that we make with beans and lettuce and cheese and different things, and so, but that's honestly, as far as processed food go, that's almost it. Yeah. Like some, a box of Triscuits, and not even every day, every, and sometimes tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. But, but I'm not saying, you know, like candy, I'm not saying all this other processes, and I'm not saying I'm above that or I'm so good I don't do that anymore. What I'm saying is, I guarantee you, if you try cutting out processed food, fast food, and added sugars for a month or two months, your cravings will change mm -hmm. for what you want. Yeah. You're so we're so used to, especially here in America, we, we have all these foods at the tip of our fingers, and a lot of times it's cheaper than the healthier foods, which debatable, it's really not. But, so we're so used to eating these, our body are so used to all this stuff, that's what we crave. We, we're, we're people of routine, we're people of habit, so we crave what we continually do. Mm -hmm. And so if we continually eat McDonald's every once a week, well, we're gonna continually crave that because that's what we continually do. We, that's what we feed our body. But if we train our body to do other things and create different habits, then that's what our body wants. And like I don't, I don't crave McDonald's ever. I don't crave fast food, except for Chick Fil A. Yeah, we'll crave that. Same. Um, but like your body learns to crave other things once it's in a habit of those other things. Yeah. yeah.
and, and me and my my diet's a lot different than a lot of people. I I usually try and eat whatever I can find, except for processed. We're gonna I'll just eat all the time as much as I can. I don't care if it's. I try and stay away. I try and eat more protein than I do carbs. But even then, like I'm trying to maintain weight through the summer is the hardest thing for me, and I lose about five ten pounds every summer. And so I'm eating PB and J's all the time. I'm eating breads. I'm eating meat. I'm eating whatever I can find that's still healthy. Just a lot of it. So this is kind of a disclaimer on the food intake that I do too. So let's let's jump into the whole topic of carbs. Yeah. A little bit and let's talk, talk about, about that because I think that's a little a lot of. Uh, <laughs> stuff out there as far as carbs are bad, there's sugar, and yep. um, and carbs are good, there are fuel, fuel so, source, yep. you need to have carbs, and like the whole thing of like tension. Yeah. Uh, so let's just talk about it a little bit. Um, and I think that carbs, yes, obviously, I'm gonna agree with, with some of you guys that carbs, some carbs uh, are not good for you. Yeah. Right? And the uh, reason, but, the reason they say that is because carbs, what happens is it turns to sugar, glucose, and sugar, well, if your body doesn't use that energy, the, the sugar has energy, and it stores it as fat, which we don't want fat. And so that's where carbs is bad comes in hand is because it turns to sugar, carbs turn to sugar, if it doesn't use it all as energy, it turns to fat. So I think what, one of my big thing is uh, the fault on carbs and why I choose to put it into my diet and and put it in specific parts of the day to optimize my performance yep. and that's the biggest thing I think with carbs now there is again there's good carbs there's bad carbs complex carbs um, simple carbs all that kind of stuff and I try yeah I try to stay away from a lot of the, the refined carbs like pasta it's like yep. bread I mean I'll, I'll eat breads here and there yep. Uh, but again, I look at the nutritional label. There's some breads that are uh, that are better than other breads. Yeah, that's true. Um, what's some other like, you know, processed cereals and stuff like that and granola. Um, yeah, granola and just like kind of same yeah, just anything just carbs processed. in general. But like when I I think of carbs as a fuel for performance. So when I eat carbs, mainly they're in uh, beginning of the day when my workout is or when I'm working during the day. And so I'll try not to eat a lot of heavy carbs or breads and whatnot at nighttime, um, just to give my body a break from that. And, um, cause I'm not gonna be using it, I'm gonna be sleeping, so I'm not gonna be able to use up that that carb, that glycerin, uh, it'll, and then, then it will turn uh, to, to sure, fat, and fat. fat when I'm sleeping. So you're not that's kind of where- You're not burning it off. Right, I'm not burning it off. So if you eat you know, a PB&J, before your workout, you're gonna burn through that sucker in no time. Right. So it's giving you energy to do your workout. Right. Now there's a lot of debate, you know, there's just a lot of debate out there with carbs. And this is what we stand for. Like we said, we're not nutritionists, we're not doctors, but this is our opinion. And I eat, I, I mean, I'm even a little bit different than Durrell. I, I, I don't care when I eat carbs, I eat carbs anytime. But that's how my body processes it. And my body, my pot, there's, there's a lot of people out there that if they eat carbs before they go to bed, they're gonna gain weight. If I eat carbs before I go to bed, it doesn't matter. So, that's how my body reacts to it, and I, yeah. So, it depends who you are. If you're, if you've, if you've struggled with all, if you've always been small, and you can eat whatever, and it doesn't affect your body, you could probably stand, and you're trying to put on weight, you can probably stand to eat carbs and food, whatever you want. And then you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, and I think too with uh, the whole thing of carbs, like I said before, it increases, helps you to increase performance. Now, can you get big and bulk and like lean muscle yeah, eat, sure. uh, without eating carbs? Vegans yes, do it. You can do it. Vegans do it. Exactly. So, or stay but, carbs, I guess. Right. So, but I, like I said before, I, I look at carbs as, as like I do. We do CrossFit, so we, a lot of our workouts are pretty intense. Uh, just all Super out, high, heart rate is up high. Your 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 muscles are working. You're lifting weight, plus your cardio, your your heart rate's up. So it's like both of those. Um, your body's just working to the max. And so if you don't have that that I don't know the whole technical thing, but like the glucerin in your bloodstream, like you're not gonna be yeah glu glu glucose. 
numbers. Exactly. Not going to be able to perform, I believe, as, as, as much or as as big as you could. Now that's just me. That's how I sure. um, we've, feel we've, my body. We've talked to, so. we don't know a lot about ketogenic, but we've talked to people that are on ketogenic, and once you're on it for like four weeks or whatever, then your energy levels go up. I don't quite understand it all, but yeah. so, you, you know, we know people that have done it and it's worked for people. We just don't see it as maintainable for a lifestyle for 20 years. And we see the flex diet as maintainable for 20 years because that's I've been doing it for quite a while now and freaking that's all I want. So it's not like you know. Yeah. But that's kind of that's kind of what we had for today. I mean, I, I yep. feel like we covered. So that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Intermittent fasting. Um, I something... personally think it's a dumb idea. He's kind of on the other end. Yeah, it's something I I've seen I a really... couple different crossfitters do and they, I don't know. They say they're. Uh, Testosterone has gone up almost double, so I don't know. It's one of those things that try I it out. I would just try it. Like, like this guy Josh Bridges, what I uh, a crossfitter, and he's like, hey, I'm just gonna try it, give it a shot, and if it don't work, don't work. But he didn't hate it. But uh, he did it for a week, hated it, and his friend told him to do it for at least two weeks. So he tried it for another two weeks, straight on intermittent fasting. Uh, I think it was maybe 14 hours of fasting or something like 16 hours, and then you eat. You know, as much as you can in that gap, that, that window of eating time. And uh, yeah, it's, he got tested and testosterone went up like 400. And his and performance. And his performance. So, I don't know, it's something I I might want to research more and then try it out. I don't know. I don't know enough on it. I haven't researched but, um, intermediate fasting. Maybe we'll have to do a video on intermediate fasting and do research on it. Yeah. I just don't think it's... Maybe if you're someone that has done the, the intermittent fasting, but it's not. give us a comment. Let us know if you if it helped you, uh, any results that you've seen. I'd be interested to if hear. If it was the worst thing you ever done or just is garbage, let us know. Also, uh, if you any diets that you've been on that have not worked at all for you, let us know. Give us you know give us your story. Like what diets have you gone on that just it sucked and did not go well, and vice versa. What diets have you gone on? What diets are you on? Or lifestyles, if you call nutritional plans. Nutritional plans have worked for you, we would love to hear your feedback on, you know, this is this is what I do, and this has worked for me, or this is what I did, and it did not work for me. Yeah. We would love to hear those things. Yeah. So, like I said, as a disclaimer, this is what we do, this is what works for us, we keep it simple, we eat carbs, protein, we eat everything. Fats. What we don't eat is processed foods, fast food, and added sugars as much as possible. There's times when we do, because um, it's a cheat day or because we don't have a choice or wherever we're at. Montana sometimes a lack of food options, but that's usually what we do, and that's what we keep it at, yeah, buddy. so that we can have an ultimate performance, so that we can be healthier, we can feel good, because what you put in your body will connect to your brain, it will help your kind of your whole thinking of outlook on life will change if your body feels good. If your body doesn't feel good, your outlook in life will probably not be good. If your body feels good, your outlook in life will be good. That's usually how it works. Your body's connected to your, your mind's connected to your body. Your body's connected to your mind. Love it. Love it. Next week, well, we have an interview. Yeah, special guest. Special guest, Seth. He is a CrossFit coach. And we're going to do more of an introduction to him next week. But we just want to let you guys know that we're. Foster coach, husband, father, loves the Lord, just super bad dude. Great He's been story. through a lot. So it's going to be awesome. He's got, got, a crazy, got a crazy story. We're going to interview him. We're going to do more interviews back and forth between topics and interviews. So if you got anybody you want us to interview, if you got any close to, to here in Montana, give us a shout out and we'll, uh, we'll hit them up. So. so yeah, be on the outlook or the look for this episode will be up on Monday. And. We will have um, the interview with Seth probably uploaded on Friday for the Flexi Friday next week. So be on Outlook for that. It's going to be a super fun time hanging out with him. Cool. Love you guys. Out. Thanks for